Hi guys, it's Aaron from A Sydney Electricians here. How can you tell the difference between a circuit breaker and a safety switch? This is a real easy question to answer. Your safety switch has this little button here labeled test or with a T on it. Here is a close up of the plug in circuit breakers. Now you can see you've still got the old ceramic fuse base here and they've pulled out the actual fuse holder and they've stuck in this plug-in um, plug circuit breaker. So if you turn that off, it goes off and then just say it trips and you want to reset it, you just come back out and you turn it back on. The plug-in circuit breaker is exactly like it says. That's where the old fuse used to go. Just be careful, don't stick your fingers in there because those terminals are live which is another reason why these ceramic fuses are, are really no good. They're just such an obsolete technology. Uh, but people would have changed them over to these plug-in breakers because they're blowing fuses too often. Often. That's a close-up of your plug-in circuit breaker. Now this is a close-up of your ceramic fuse. There's they come in many different sizes and shapes, but they're sort of a porcelain feel to them. Um, and if you pull one out, this is the lights for inside. It's not coming out. Pull it out. That's what she looks like inside. And that's the live terminals in there. I'll just squeeze that puppy back in. Now this is a, an early sort of generation of safety switch close-up view of that you've got it's on at the moment and if this button is down there it's in the off position you can see it says on and then that little button there with the T that's the test button so anytime you've got this top on off circuit breaker style switch with a test button that's a safety switch and now you can see that this safety switch is protecting circuit 2 5 and 7 so if we go over here Number one is not protected, that's the lights. It should be protected. Number two is the power. That's protected, that's good. Three is the range. We don't need to protect our hardwired appliances like your range and your hot water. But number five is a power, so that's protected again. These lights are not protected by that safety switch, but the power out in the barbecue area is. So this safety switch is really only doing half the job because the lights are not protected as well. Now, if you had a newer style switchboard, you see these newer ones, um, they're single pole, they've got the pink test button there. Um, you know, they're off and on, and if you press the test button, if this was wired up, that would trip off. Um, these are the way to go. You have one safety switch for each light or power circuit, so you end up with, you know, three or four or five new safety switches at your house once you do an upgrade. Now, in the 90s they did this type of a setup. We've got one main safety switch that protects these one, two, three, four circuits. So there's two light and two power. Now this is okay, you still got a safety switch, but the problem with this type of setup is if you have a fault on one of the circuits and your safety switch trips, you lose the power and lights to the whole house. Now this makes it much harder to fault find. So you're far better off when you get your switchboard upgraded to go with this type of setup where you've got individual safety switches for each light and power circuit. So that's a close up view of the difference between circuit breakers and safety switches. Now if you've got these ceramic fuses or the plug in circuit breakers or normal circuit breakers and you're not sure if you've got safety switches or not, uh, the chances are you probably don't. If you see these fuses, you need to upgrade your switchboard. So what I'd recommend you do is click through the link at the bottom of the page and that'll take you to a, a page on our website that explains to you how to tell if you have safety switches protecting your house or not. Um, otherwise, if you've got any questions and you're in Sydney, just give us a call on 1300 796 500 and we'd be happy to help. If you're outside of Sydney, just contact your local electrician and they'll be able to answer all your questions. Thanks for listening guys and have a great day.